Hi, I'm Rudy Jaito of the Architects Journal. Most architects are inspired by architectural visions they find in movies, books, magazines and comic books. That's why we've compiled our five favourite comic book cities and presented them counting down from five to one. Hope you enjoy them. This is the planet-sized vertiginous cityscape conjured by French artist Mobius in his 1976 comic The Long Tomorrow. It has been massively influential, particularly in Hollywood. You can see similarities in both Blade Runner and The Fifth Element. Mobius is widely acknowledged to be the master of spatial representation in comic book art. Seek out his work, learn how to draw again. His effortless line work and the incredible sense of depth he brings to the page will make you want to do that. Usually Gotham City serves as a backdrop for the adventures of Batman, but in the Destroyer arc in DC's Legend of the Dark Knight monthly comic, the architecture of Gotham City was a central character. Destroyer focused on a crazed architectural historian obsessed with reviving the work of Gotham town planner Cyrus Pinky, before Batman intervenes most of Gotham's contemporary glass and concrete skyscrapers, which had obscured Pinky's gothic extravagances, are destroyed by the Mad Bomber. However, this story was actually a rather brazen piece of opportunistic master planning by Batman's editors, who wanted the Gotham in the comic books to resemble the one depicted in Tim Burton's film, in order to attract new readers. In Destroyer, Pinky's towers are a dead ringer for Anton First's design for the film. The East End of Jack the Ripper's London was a filthy, blackened, riotous place, and Eddie Campbell's artwork in the Alan Moore scripted From Hell captures the mood perfectly. It is among the most startling black and white comic book artwork you'll find in print. One chapter takes the reader on a tour of Hawks Moore's London, each of the architect's buildings rendered in a scratchy black and white manner that terrifies and delights in equal measure, much like the buildings themselves. Chris Ware is the most accomplished comic book illustrator and cartoonist working today, perhaps ever. Ware is nostalgic for the late 19th and early 20th century. He thinks all forms of design were more accomplished then, more carefully crafted, just better. Consequently, all his art is hand-drawn, hand-coloured, and always in astonishing detail. If Ware has an analogue in the architectural profession, it's Peter Zumther. One phrase unites them, no compromise. Mega City One, which features in the story Judge Dredd in the British weekly comic 2000 AD, is the ultimate comic book city. It's bigger, badder and more spectacular than its rivals. Its underlying design principle is simple, exaggeration. Created by writers Pat Mills and John Wagner and artist Carlos Escuera, the city's original aesthetic of soaring organic architecture has parallels for the experimental concrete structures of Aero Saarinen and the motorway networks that transformed British cities in the 60s and 70s.